Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So this morning I'm going to show you how to uh, basically wrap and stake your NEO on the Flamingo Finance platform. Uh, now Flamingo Finance has been getting quite a lot of press in the last few days. It's an interoperable full stack DeFi protocol built on NEO. Um, so very similar to some of the DeFi platforms built on Ethereum, but this one's actually built on NEO. And the advantage of that is that um, those of you who have been participating in DeFi will know that uh, gas prices have actually just gone through the roof on Ethereum. Um, we've had issues with scaling on Ethereum before with stuff like CryptoKitties and DeFi basically is the latest, um, I suppose, the latest kind of kind of product or kind of service built on, uh, on top of Ethereum that has basically brought it to its knees. Uh, now, Ethereum hopefully will be getting some scaling solutions um, in the not uh, too distant kind of future with shard and stuff like that uh, but in the meantime for those people who don't want to pay a uh, huge kind of gas prices there is a push now to move uh, DeFi onto other platforms and this is basically the first DeFi uh, protocol that's based on neo um now you can read all about it here um as with anything um, DeFi related there is risk if you're going to be moving your coins uh, over to uh, Flamingo kind of finance uh, if you're going to be wrapping those and staking those there is risk you know not your keys not your coins you do have to move uh, f probably from your uh, current wallet over to another wallet we're going to be using a uh, neo line uh, so it's just a chrome extension that's what we're going to be using at the moment we've got all our um, a Neo locked up in Neon, which is attached to a ledger. So I really like this kind of solution. But uh, in order to participate in this, we need to be moving uh, it over to a compatible kind of wallet. Um, so we're going to be using Neo Line. Um, you can read all the information you want on the Flamingo.finance uh, website. Uh, there is a link to it below. But um, we basically will only be using the wrapper and the vault. I may go into these um, other kind of functionality uh, later on, uh, but we're going to be doing it in the easiest ways possible. And that is if we've already got. Uh, Neo. Now, if you don't have Neo, um, as you can see here, you can wrap Ethereum, Bitcoin, or USDT um, uh, over to um, a compatible, um, a compatible kind of token. So, uh, WETH, WBTC, and USDT uh, can be wrapped on Uniswap, and then you can move them over to the wrapper uh, here. But we're going to just um, use uh, Neo. So, if you've got Neo. Uh, you can do it directly and we have to connect our wallet. So this is the first thing we need to do is set up a uh, Neo line. Now, uh, from reading through the subreddits and stuff like that, um, it seems that this is the easiest and kind of most flawless way to do it at the moment. Um, there are other solutions available, O3 for example, um, but there have been people having issues with wrapping and unwrapping them. I believe they were using slightly older versions, but um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a wallet here with Neo line and then we're gonna move our uh, um, we're going to move our Neo over to it. So we're going to create a new wallet. Um, you can just set this up however you want. So let's call ours Crypto Dave. We will enter a password uh, and we'll create a wallet. And now what I will do is um, just pause the video uh, quickly and I'll uh, do a backup of this kind of wallet, take my private keys and stuff like that. Okay, so I've then now made a, a copy of my uh, private key, all the essential account information. You can do that just by clicking on the menu here, uh, showing the private key, and then make sure you store that somewhere safe, uh, obviously. And now what we need to do is uh, send uh, some Neo over to this wallet. So if you click receive, you'll see your address, QR code. Uh, we can copy the address into uh, our Neon wallet and we can send uh, some Neo over. Now what I'm gonna do is just send one initially, and then, uh, as you can see, I've just done that, um, and the one has arrived okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and send all the remaining um, Neo. So I'll just pause quickly, and then um, I'll pop the video back on uh, once that's done. So you can see here, um, that uh, went over straight away. I, I sent them as um, a zero fee transactions over, and they all went over okay. Now, a lot of people are saying because of um, Flamingo Finance, um, that um, people are having to pay some gas fee. So we might need to move some gas over to uh, this wallet from uh, Neon as well in order to, to wrap it. But uh, for now, everything seemed to transfer over okay. You can see here, we have our 102 uh, Neo. So if we go back to the uh, wrap, uh, section in Flamingo. You can see here all the wallets up here and we can click down there and connect them or we can just click connect wallet here. And now we've selected Neo, so we're gonna connect our Neo uh, line wallet and it uh, generates a pop-up. Now if you've got a big screen like me, it might pop up somewhere else. Um, but basically you just need to uh, connect this 
So we now see it's connected. We've got our destination address, which is, uh, this is the address that's basically uh, for our new NeoLine wallet, auto pre-fills that. And then we have to put the amount we want to wrap. So we're gonna put 102, uh, we'll click next. Now we may have to uh, use some gas to do this. So I may have to pause the video and actually move some gas across. I'll let you know if I have to do that, but let's click confirm and see what happens. And then as you can see here, transfer failed, not enough gas. So what I'm gonna do is just move a bit of gas. So it reckons it's gonna need 0.011 gas. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video very briefly and I shall send uh, some gas over to this wallet. So I've now moved that gas over. I was quite uh, half expecting actually to have to move some gas over to do it. I've just actually moved a uh, 0.1 uh, gas over, uh, which should more than uh, cover the actual uh, transaction fees. So then if we go back to the wrapping, we'll click confirm again. This time it pops up the little one, a uh, gas fee 0.011 gas, or we'll click yes. And then we just wait for the confirmation. Okay, so it probably took about 10 seconds or so, but the transaction is now completed. You can see that uh, there, big tick. So if we um, stop that now, if we go back to our Neo Line wallet, what we should see now is that we have zero Neo, but we have 102 N Neo, which we can then use basically to stake in the vault. And the vault, as you can see here, if you go back to the uh, homepage, will be available in just over five hours from now. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video, uh, but that's the first stage. So basically you need to get uh, your Neo wrap. As you can see, that was quite a straightforward um, process. We set up the new wallet and make sure you always keep a copy of your private key and then we send uh, some Neo over to it. Make sure you send a little bit of gas to cover the uh, transaction fees and then you just wrap that. And then as you can see, available now in our wallet, our N Neo. So we'll be back in just over five hours and we're gonna deposit that in the vault. So I'll show you how to do that. So it's actually um, now substantially later uh, than the 1 p.m. UTC when it was due to go live. It's actually um, now about 6 uh, p.m. UTC. And um, I just want to kind of like um, run through what's kind of happened. So basically the vault was unlocked at um, 1 p.m. UTC. Um, so this uh, the countdown timer um, disappeared and the vault uh, was clickable. Um, unfortunately, there were kind of errors. So there's been um, a bit of a delay in the mint rush. Um, it was a bit of a palaver, the whole situation. So um, basically you could click on the kind of uh, the vault, but you couldn't connect to um, the wallet. So the NeoLine wallet here wasn't connectable. Um, it's now showing up okay, um, but at the time it wasn't connectable. Whenever you tried to kind of connect to it via the vault, um, it said um, that you needed to connect the wallet to the main net and the wallet was already on the main net and then it wouldn't connect. Um, and after about an hour or so, um, they announced that um, they were trying to kind of fix it. And then after about another hour or so, um, they announced that there was gonna be a delay in the mint rush and it will not start now until uh, at the earliest, the same time tomorrow. So uh, what should have been 1 um, p.m. UTC on the 25th is now gonna be 1 uh, p.m. UTC on the 26th at the earliest. But um, since then, um, I've ma actually managed to get in and been able to stake my coin. So um, basically, if you click on uh, the vault, you'll go to this page. I don't want to kind of like uh, do it again in case it kind of like crashes and I want to show you how it kind of works. Um, but um, when it wasn't working, you basically just had these three options here. So you had these three lines basically saying, go to Binance for staking uh, for uh, Binance coin, uh, go to Binance for staking for uh, Binance USD, and then go to OKEX for staking for OKB. Um, and they were the only three options. And then as soon as it started connecting to the wallet correctly, um, you got these other options. Uh, so basically we had a total of 102 uh, N Neo and then 102 remaining and we just literally click deposit and then we could select all our um, Neo uh, and it actually kind of went ahead and then um, it disappeared again and then um, about half an hour later it kind of like showed up again um, and we're now showing up as 102 total 102 staked uh, and then the staked assets in dollar value there so that's our 102 uh, Neo uh, in dollar values now I didn't want to kind of click on the vault because I thought if I click on the vault here um, it might not kind of work as you can see um, it's asking to connect to the wallet. So this is basically what happens when you first uh, connect to it, you'll go uh, connect to the wallet and then it'll pop up this little pop up and you click connect. Um, and then we're back to the same issue that we had before. Please connect the wallet to the main net. So um, it is intermittently working. Um, you might need to kind of uh, keep trying, um, but there's no massive urgency because uh, apparently the um, FLM tokens are not gonna be um, distributed until tomorrow. Now there were, 
they did seem to be like a load of tokens being uh, staked on Binance and also on um, OKEX earlier, but uh, I'm not quite sure how it's going to be resolved. I don't know if they're going to do a rollback. I don't know whether they're just going to have uh, those big exchanges being able to kind of stake early and not the kind of little guy, which would be a bit of a kick in the teeth. But um, if you keep trying, you will probably be able to get a, get it done eventually. As I said, look, this is um, unfortunately not connected, but if you kind of leave it open, it will connect eventually and then you will be able to do your uh, deposit. Um, you can check this um, on obviously the Neo Blockchain Explorer. You can check the um, the transactions are going through and that, but it is very intermittent at the moment. They're trying to um, uh, sort everything out and 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 basically kind of like streamline it. I, I presume for tomorrow. So basically, uh, there was a massive uh, influx of traffic and. Uh, the website, the Neo line, a wallet, nothing could kind of handle the amount of kind of like requests and stuff like that. Everybody was in the wrapper trying to wrap stuff. People were in the vault trying to kind of uh, trying to stake stuff. And uh, basically the whole system crashed. So um, anyway, uh, not uh, an ideal kind of conclusion um, because we don't really have a conclusion. Hopefully uh, tomorrow at a 1 p.m. or later. And um, if you um, aren't uh, sure of what's going to happen i'll put a link uh, below to the twitter feed so flamingo finance have a have a twitter account and they are posting kind of updates on that so hopefully they will give uh, a definitive uh, date but it looks like tomorrow potentially a 1 p.m utc on the 26th that's saturday the 26th rather than the 25th we will have to see um, what happens with all the stuff that was staking in the kind of pools which obviously managed to get everything kind of um going and it was just a kind of like um the individual people like ourselves that could couldn't get um, connected up to kind of neo line couldn't get staked and therefore couldn't benefit but uh, hopefully everything will be resolved tomorrow I want to get this video out um, in the meantime because if you haven't um, wrapped your kind of coins you want to get everything kind of like pre-done um, there's a chance now of you being able to do it uh, if you have these issues where you kind of click to the vault and it won't connect um, don't worry um, try again in the morning or something like that because uh, eventually this will get kind of resolved hopefully uh, before the whole thing uh, goes live but uh, anyway that's it for this uh, video um, hopefully it's been partially useful um, probably not as useful as it, it could have been because of the issues uh, with the site and stuff like that but if you have questions let me know in the comments below I'll put a link to um, everything that might be kind of useful in getting this kind of up and running uh, in the description below. Uh, thanks very much for watching as always. Give me a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. It really helps uh, others find the channel through the YouTube algorithm because we're not getting particularly uh, good exposure at the moment. So that really helps other people find the channel. That would be fantastic. Um, but hope you're keeping safe and well. Uh, look after yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video. But until then, have a great day. Bye bye.